Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. A uh, big thank you to those who are supporting this platform. Today, Rigad Gashawa was in church. Today, Rigad Gashawa attended a church service. In company, I saw the likes of uh, Cleophas Malala, the ousted YODSG. Now, in a church, I want to give you Gashawa's video. And I want you to do a few things. One, monitor Gashawa's facial expression. That's number one. Number two, monitor Gashawa's voice intonation. That's number two. Number three, monitor the neck. Shingo hapa. Yarigadi Gashawa. Na yamwisho, monitor Rigadi Gashawa's eyes. I want you to be very careful because this is where I will base my analysis after this video. Wewe angalia vile mlima anaongea and this is church. Angalia vile anaongea look at the tone. Angalia vile vile anakunja uso facial expression. Muangalia hapa shingo niambie uliona nini. Muangalia hapa kwa macho hapa juu. Tell me what you saw. I am not very sure. But Gashawa is addressing William Samoy Ruto, his boss, in a language that William Ruto understands best. Gloves off. And Gashawa has decided on this particular one. Can we listen to regard the Gashawa? I want to ask my brother, my boss president, William Ruto, to be cautious and do the right thing. Let's keep our house together. Let us not be destructive and let us not reintroduce the politics of betrayal. President William Ruto is the greatest beneficiary of the people of Mount Kenya distant for betrayal. Our people hate betrayal and they are very unforgiving if you betray them. I ask my brother, President William Ruto, not to be tempted to go to that direction because these people will be very unforgiving. When there was an attempt to betray him, the people of this region said, no, we don't like betrayal. We don't entertain betrayal. And for that reason, the people of this region stood with him to a man to express their displeasure at betrayal. If the people of this region feel betrayed, as they will, if we go into that direction, these people will be very unforgiving. That's just my advice. It doesn't have to be taken. I've been around for a long time. Kisaliti watu, usiano yako na hawa itafika mwisho. And it cannot be salvaged. I still think there is room for the president to put his house in order, talk to everybody, and let us get back to work and serve the people of Kenya, execute the mandate that they gave us. We give very many promises. We need to keep those promises. And it's important that we keep those promises. The other day I asked the president to keep one promise to the people of Kenya that requires no funding, requires no IMF, requires no World Bank. He promised the people of Kenya that under his watch, his deputy will never be humiliated. Didn't he promise? We're asking him to keep that promise. If he can't keep that one promise, nobody can trust him to keep any other promise. So it's up to him. It's up to him. Sisi tuko pale, sisi watu wa mungu. And for me, I'm comforted by the fact that when things were very difficult for President William Ruto, and he was at a lot of attack, a lot of schemes, a lot of intimidation, a lot of humiliation, 
a lot of harassment Mungu alisimama na yeye Huyo huyo Mungu alisimama na Rais William Ruto hakuna bahari ameenda Si yako tu That is my comfort Ya kwamba huyo Mungu hakuna bahari ameenda he still there So let us see how things unfold uh, Ladies and gentlemen If you keenly observed him Regard speaks with a lot of bitterness. Yani regardi anaongea nekana kwamba ananyongwa shingo. Ya? Yeah? Yani ni kama kuna kitu hapa inamsukuma kwa shingo hapa ndani. Naongea na uchungu zaidi. Ukiangalia okay, macho ya Rigiji ni kama mtu ambaye anataka kulia. It looks like someone who wants to cry. Look at the wrinkles on his face. He speaks very quietly. He speaks calmly. But looks like a man in a lot of pain. And he's warning William Ruto that please, if you want to survive, I want to warn you. Do not underrate Rigiji. Do not underrate Rigiji. Uh, Rigiji is a man let them impeach him. But Rigiji is a man who is going to lay it bare how the 2022 general election was bankled. Gashawa is going to tell us how Ruto sent him to kill Uhuru Kenyatta politically. Gashawa is going to explain to us on the ills committed by William Ruto regime in the past two years. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell Kenyans, it's high time, just find a comfortable seat. You sit back, you relax, and you enjoy. The drama is just beginning. Kasha wapa nambia mudos. Ramambia, don't try. Apana jaribu. Hey, rice. Apana jaribu hii. He's telling William Ruto, bitterly. And is warning him. Yani kasha wame aogopi. Ame amua kama mbaya. Mbaya. Kama kata haripuka karipuke. Kama kata haribika karibike. Gashawa planted politics of betrayal. He betrayed Uhuru Kenyatta his boss. And I want to tell you ladies and gentlemen. Gashawa is going to regret big time. Right now. He is using public resources kutembea. But once regard gets impeached, you will see how life will change. Regard will only have time to move around Nyeri. He will not go beyond central Kenya. Najua mtasema kaka unachukia Rigiji. But I want to tell you facts. Rigiji, if at all he is going to be impeached, if I'm saying if at all, as members of parliament are saying, Oh. Rigiji atarudi kwa murima Na hakuna mahali atahenda He will keep hitting Ruta around Mount Kenya And that is where we will be oscillating If you are watching this video Kindly make sure you click the subscribe button And remember to turn on your notification bell God bless you Asante Nisan